For 25 years, Stuart Weitzman has been making some of the most famous footwear in the business. And now, some people are wondering, is he ready to retire and give it all up? Well, early show contributor Katrina Zish is here to tell us. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning. Last year, Stuart Weitzman sold a majority stake of his company to the Jones Group. Now we're hearing he might sell it all by the end of next year. We caught up with a designer known as the King of the Red Carpet. While he didn't confirm or deny the sale, at age 70, he shows no signs of slowing down or retiring anytime soon. What is it about ping pong, Stuart? Concentration. Is it the ultimate yeah. release for you, stress yeah. relief? Uh huh. It lets out your anger. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean. Did I hurt you? With a backhand as fierce as his eye for a good shoe. I want to know whether we're going to do gray crocodile. Stuart Weitzman no, has many crocodile. layers. We're not doing that. Forget oh, that. Bad. That's no good. My uh, career was going to be in finance and, and business. So you never made it to Wall Street. I know that was a dream at one point. No, I didn't make it to Wall Street. But I, I've worked at my hobby. And I, uh, I wouldn't change it now that I've done it. This is our number one pump. A graduate from the University of Pennsylvania's renowned like Wharton School years. of Business, Weitzman ditched his degree and turned his hobby into um, a successful career. He currently sells more than two million pairs of shoes a year so cute. in 70 countries. That's the heritage shoe, yeah. So this a... is a special 25th anniversary kind of modern update of your father's 1936 shoe. That's it. Turns That's out, it. shoemaking runs in Weitzman's cool. jeans. You got the, so you got the I patent. I got my patent, and I have his patent, and I'm going to make a beautiful display of them both. My dad was a shoe manufacturer and designer. My mom was a model, and he used to dress her in these gorgeous shoes. She had a fabulous-looking pair, very high heel, and it, it fascinated me how it didn't collapse. I was a four-year-old kid, you know, I, I just didn't wow. get it. and. Uh, began my love affair with footwear. Like, this stuff is unbelievable. And somewhere is the first shoe that I made. In the At age beginning. 70, Weitzman's love affair has spanned five decades. That's it. Isn't that funny? It's right here at the beginning. 25 years with the company that bears his name. Right there. We called it sheer delight. This gets cut away, so you have a scallop throat line around your foot, and it's all nude, and that was the shoe. Boy, we should make that shoe again. I that think was you should. Shoe. What a shoe that was. When I began this business, I began as a, a maker of bridal shoes. It was an opening, it was a niche. I went into it, started to make them, and then evening shoes and party shoes. And we still make bridal shoes as a big part of our business. Today, with celebrities like Beyonce, Angelina Jolie, and Jennifer Hudson wearing his shoes, the name Stuart Weitzman is synonymous with glamour. But that red carpet recognition didn't come until 2002 at the Oscars. It was worn by Laura Lena Herring, and Laura wore this shoe made out of real diamonds. Got dubbed the million dollar million sandal. Dollar sandal. Yeah. And she was photographed as much as Haley Berry, who actually won the award that year. And I saw the power of a fabulous shoe, and everyone knew who Stuart Weitzman was. I love this shoe, but I want to Where does to it hurt? Look... Okay, it's hitting your ankle bone. Yeah. We gotta fix that before it gets to the marketplace. I will never put a shoe in the line that is a compromise on fit, even if it's gorgeous. And if it's that gorgeous, we'll have to figure out another way to make it, because I don't want to lose a beautiful design idea. But it isn't going out there unless I th I'm pretty sure it's right. I wanted you to see that. Mm -hmm. That legendary yes. Stuart Weitzman fit might not be possible Take without the help here. of one woman. So Barbara, you're, you've been Stuart's actual foot model for how, for how many years? Oh, come on. <laughs> you can say it. 32 years. That's heritage. So don't. how many pairs of shoes do you think you've tried on? Millions. <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> yes, millions. With her size six feet, Barbara Krieger has walked in every Stuart Weitzman shoe three times before it hits store shelves. When you put on a shoe that feels right, how does it feel? Like nothing, like there's nothing on your foot. Just feels, feels right. right. Like Goldilocks, this is just, That's just right. <laughs> <laughs> so is this actually then becomes a shoe or yeah. no? Yeah, wow. The Stuart Weitzman, the shoemaker, continues to take pride away. in every pair he creates. Next season, Crocodile. Big but time. Stuart Weitzman, the executive, Great. may have had enough. Crinkles. Last no, year, he gave up majority control of his company in a sale to the Jones Group. So we're hearing that by the end of next year, you may relinquish all shares to the Jones Group. Maybe. Would that, would that be your retirement? No, 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 no. You retire from a job, but who retires from a hobby? 
I don't think anybody does. I certainly won't. Would you still be here day to day? Would you still be sketching? Come interview me a year from today and you'll find out the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Fantastic. I know what you're wearing. Sounds like even if he does sell the company, he plans on keeping a very active role. Weitzman told me that he sketches about 1,000 shoe designs every season, and he's the lead designer on every single pair of shoes that he sells. That's, That's pretty uncommon, very cool too. To see, yeah. He's well, really hands-on to have yeah, such a hands-on role. And, and he yet, calls it a hobby, too. Yeah. But no men's shoes. No men's shoes. He told me, where's the fantasy in men's shoes? I mean, of course, he wears them every day, but he said to design them to create those sort of almost Cinderella fantasy mm -hmm. shoes just doesn't happen in men's shoes. Katrina, thank you very much. Thank Katrina. you. All right.